Hi, in this video I'm going to explain what is a domain and why do we need domains. Well, let me start with the internet. The internet is nothing but a bunch of computers networked together. Uh, and basically, let me draw that. Sorry, I always get, tend to get a fat line at the beginning. No, that's better. That's the first computer. That's another computer. And another computer. And one more and they are all connected to one another okay and there's you sitting at your computer and now you wish to buy some flowers and you are looking you wish to visit that computer here because they have some information on flowers. Now, in the internet, each computer has got a unique number called uh, IP or internet protocol number. Basically, those numbers are, they look something like that. One, two, three, dot, dot, uh, four, five, six, dot, uh, seven, eight. And each computer has got a unique number. Now, Obviously, one way to reach that computer is to type in its number, its IP number in your browser, and you would reach that. But who can remember numbers? And I mean, uh, a typical guy surfs, let's say, like 100 websites a day. How can he remember 100 numbers? So that's why in the internet, instead of numbers, names are used. And those names are domain names. Okay, let me just roll it down. Domain names Oops. is basically the computer's address on the web. So it's the same thing, same thing as the number, the IP number. Both are addresses on the web. One is a name, another one is the number. That's it. Now, let's look closely at a domain name, a typical domain name. Let's take that domain name. Example. And you have a company, it's called Example, and you sell flowers. Now, that alone isn't a domain name. That, that is just your name or your the name you wish to have. Now, with the do, domain name consists of the name, obviously, and an extension. Let's say com. Dot com. That would be an extension. There are several other extensions available. Uh, for instance, dot net dot org let me write some down here dot net dot org dot info and then you've got some country specific uh, uh, extensions like dot us for the us dot ca for canada dot de for germany and so on so basically your domain name is both the name you wish to have plus that extension now the name you wish to have is obviously not unique because, you know, a word like example, anybody could use that. But what is unique is the combination of name and extension. So basically, if you have registered that domain name, example.com, no one else can register that. And example.com will always be the address for your website unless you sell that name or you don't renew uh, that name you see when you when you register a domain name you basically register it for one or two or five years or whatever and if you don't need it anymore let's say your company went broke or you won the lottery and you don't need to work anymore you don't need that domain name what you can do is let just let it go just don't pay don't pay that uh, don't renew it anymore and that's it it'll go and uh, it'll be uh, become available somebody else can register that or you can sell it to another company wishing 
uh, to sell flowers and which has also uh, the same name as you have. So that's basically domain names. It's nothing more than uh, a name for the IP numbers so people can remember uh, uh, web addresses much easier and um, it just makes life much simpler. And that's it. And don't forget that domain names are basically the name you choose or you wish plus the extension. And basically uh, .com, .net, .org, .info, they're available to anybody. When you start want to use .us and .ca, uh, for instance in .ca I think you have to be a resident of Canada. I think in the, in the US it's the same thing with .us. But basically there are other uh, uh, extensions which are open to anybody, uh, country specific extensions like I know ES or SE or DE, they're open to anybody, you don't have to reside in those countries. And each domain name is a unique entity. So that's why companies, a lot of companies, what they, let's say they're called example, they don't just take example.com but they also take all other uh, extensions or let's say the more popular extensions so that's why you see like I don't know, a big company like I don't know, General Electric or something they would have not just one extension but other extensions which then redirect to the same site so that's in a nutshell what a domain is